Lesson 79. Let me recognize the problem so it can be solved. Hi there. What if somebody told you that all the problems you think you have are just illusions? What if you realize that in truth, you only have one problem? Wouldn't this be an idea worth exploring further? Let's see what Lesson 79 has to offer us today. Let me recognize the problem so it can be solved. Today's lesson gently suggests that we don't really know what our problems are. We don't recognize our problems, and since we don't recognize them, we think we still have problems, even if they are already solved. This is the situation of the world. The truth is, there's only one problem, we think we are separate from God. The only problem we have is the problem of separation. And guess what? This problem has already been solved. The only reason we don't feel like it's been solved is that we don't recognize the problem. Although everyone thinks they have their unique problems, in reality, they are all the same. We must recognize that all our problems have the same root cause, regardless of their form. If we don't recognize this, we will continue thinking we have many problems that need to be solved. Who can see that a problem has been solved if he thinks the problem is something else? This is the situation we're in right now. We seem to have a long series of different problems, each requiring a different answer. And so we try to fix them one at a time, and when all seem to be fixed, the next one arises. It feels like the problems never end, and our problem-solving skills are inadequate, so we are bound to fail. Have you ever experienced a time when you felt completely free of problems and at peace? What if the temptation to think we have lots of different problems is actually the temptation to keep the only real problem unsolved? We can't solve all the world's problems, as they exist on many levels and in varying forms. It's natural to feel dismayed and depressed. Some problems remain unsolved, and we may try to ignore them but they come back to haunt us, over and over again. But all this complexity is just a desperate attempt not to recognize the real problem and, therefore, not to solve it. We think we need to solve all our problems, but the Course says we need to look at the problems differently because we don't really know what the problems are, we don't realize we have only one problem. Only when we recognize that our only problem is separation, no matter what form it takes, can we accept the solution? Today, during those 10 to 15 minutes of our extended practice periods in the morning and evening, we're going to ask what the real problem is. We won't assume that we already know, instead, we will try to clear our minds of all the different kinds of problems we think we have and try to recognize that we only have one problem that we haven't identified yet. We will ask what it is and wait for the answer. We will be told. Then we will ask for the solution to it. And we will be told. Today's exercises will be successful to the extent that we don't insist on trying to define the problem. Perhaps we won't manage to let go of all our preconceived ideas about what our problems are, but that's not necessary. Let's just be open to the possibility that we don't understand what our real problems are. We have been given the answer, and once we recognize the problem, we can find peace. Let me recognize the problem so it can be solved. For our shorter practice periods today, there's no need to set the time. Throughout the day, as usual, we will face various problems. Let's just try not to be deceived by the different forms they can take. Remember, there is only one problem and one answer. Whenever a difficulty arises, let's quickly tell ourselves. Let me recognize this problem so it can be solved. Then, let's try to suspend all judgment about what the problem is. Let's close our eyes for a moment and ask what the problem is. We will be heard and answered. Let me recognize the problem so it can be solved. Let me recognize the problem so it can be solved. Let me recognize the problem so it can be solved. What do you think of that? Wouldn't this change everything? 
Isn't it amazing that when we recognize this, all our problems can be solved, and we can find peace? You're doing great! See you tomorrow for another powerful lesson. Quick reminder, if you haven't yet watched the introduction to this video series, be sure to do so, as it lays the foundation for our journey together. Just click on the video link that will appear on your screen shortly. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.